You know, a lot of people might disagree with this, but based on sheer size, based on physical advantages in general, I believe that Kamsat Chimaev might actually be the man to beat the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. I don't know before everyone's got their knickers twisted about it, right? Listen, I mean, Usman is incredible. Don't get me wrong. Usman is, is the go. One of the greatest uh, welterweight uh, fighters or one of the greatest UFC welterweight champions of all time, without a doubt. Uh, that, I mean, there's no there's no question about that. The only person that comes close in terms of welterweight records is probably George St. Pierre. And now we're having a conversation about who is the greatest uh, UFC welterweight champion of all time. So I understand that Usman is an incredible fighter, right? But Kamsat Chimaev, he's six foot two. He's too big for uh, the welterweight division. He's too big for the welterweight division, right? So his opponents get, are going to be smaller. And the fact that he's so strong on top of his MMA wrestling being just outstanding. I think he can beat Kamaru Usman. Don't get me wrong. His previous fight comes out tomorrow against Gilbert Barnes. You could obviously see flaws in his game, his stand-up game, though his striking has improved uh, drastically or astronomically in comparison to when he first started. Don't get me wrong. There's been a lot of improvements, but you can see a lot of holes in his game that Kamaru Usman could uh, potentially exploit in beating him but i'm just saying if you look at the welterweight roster right now i don't see many people in the welterweight roster right now who could beat kamsa chimaev apart, apart from obviously the reigning defending undisputed welterweight champion of the world you've got colby covington don't get me wrong but would size matter and size does matter Do you know what i mean when it comes to fighting kamsa is six foot two right colby is five eleven there's a huge height discrepancy and we'll talk about strength as well and Colby's a great wrestler, don't get me wrong, but so is Kamsat Chimaev as well. So, unfortunately for Colby Covington, as much as I love him, as much as I think he's talented, um, I think apart from Kamaru Usman, for Colby, Kamsat Chimaev is going to be the biggest challenge. So, can Colby beat him? I don't know. But if he fails, then obviously Kamsat Chimaev is going to be the likely title contender against Kamaru Usman. So that's the fight I'm talking about precisely because Colby has fought Usman twice. He has. And he lost on both occasions, right? So for him to gain another title shot, Usman might need to lose or Colby needs to win maybe three more fights to be able to get that shot against Kamaru Usman. Do you know what I mean? So right now, the only person who's a threat to the Nigerian nightmare is Kamsat Chimaev. He's a problem. Kamsat is a, he's a problem, dude. He's a problem. I mean, I mean, like, I mean, like, look at the guy is just a problem, dude. Size, height, on top of great MMA wrestling. Like, I mean, I'm sorry, but I can't, I can't comprehend how a lot of you people can't understand that this guy is a problem. Is going to be a problem. Now, I don't know because Usman is obviously, I'm um, talking about, we've mentioned earlier, I uh, started a video that Us Kamaru Usman is certainly one of the greatest, if not the greatest, welterweight champions of all time. Thinking of the fact that he won the belt back in 2019, dude. Back in the day, it doesn't seem like a long time ago, but around March, April of 2019, right? At UFC 235, I remember that. Kamaru Usman won this title against a former champion who actually defended the title three times. Tyron Woodley defended the title successfully against Darren Till, uh, twice against Stephen Wonderboy Thompson and Damien Meyer, four times actually, incredible. Tyron Woodley defended that belt four times. Kamaru Usman took the belt from him, defended it how many times? Let's name twice against Colby Covington, twice against Jorge Masvidal, once against Gilbert Burns. Like, I'm sorry. But he's the man, he's the myth, he's the legend. And I'm, n I'm not discounting or discrediting what he's done. I mean, fighting has probably been inculcated in his DNA, the Nigerian nightmare. But so it is in, um, uh, in Kamsat Chimaev's DNA, ladies and gentlemen. So this is certainly going to be a battle that I am looking forward to. And a battle that I hope you lot are looking forward to as well. Well, that's only if... Kamsat Chimaev 
could get past the King of Chaos. Let me repeat that. That's only if Kamsa Chimaev could get past uh, the King of, King of Chaos, Colby Covington from Clovis, California, by way of Coconut Creek, Florida. <laughs> what a reg legend, ladies and gentlemen. If, could, if, if he could do that, I mean, Colby's been on fire, dude. Did you see his performance against the game bread Jorge Masvidal? But my only, my only fear for Colby Covington is that would be... It, would Kamsat Chimaev be too big for him or would he be too strong for him? That's literally my only fear for Colby Covington. But apart from that, I, I think it's going to be a good fight. Who's going to win? I don't know, but I can see holes in both fighters' games anyways. Do you know what I mean? They're striking. Though their striking has improved, as I've mentioned, drastically or astronomically. But I, I mean, you can see holes in their games. Colby Covington's last performance against... Oh, hey, Masvidal was absolutely incredible. Don't get me wrong. I'm not taking anything away from that. But he did get hurt. He did get knocked down. And before that fight, uh, the fight, the one that, he, that the fight that he had against Kamaru Usman, he got knocked down as well. So there's holes in his game, and it might take a sp you know, like it might take another fight for him to get knocked out. Who knows? Do you know what I mean? So these holes might be exploited by either fighter. Do you know what I mean? And honestly, mate. The UFC roster is sick, 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 ladies and gentlemen. I'm just so pumped as a UFC fan. As a UFC fan, I'm so, so pumped. But I think I have to say this in every video. As much as my uh, views and opinions matter, what matters to me more is your views and your opinions. It's critically important to me so i just want to know what you lot feel about you know like uh uh Kamsat Chimaev. like is this guy going to be a huge problem in the ufc as we've seen i mean he's been causing a lot of havoc right and his partnership or his brotherhood with darren till you know is is incredible <laughs> it really is right and yeah mate honestly ufc 275 is also upon us, like, we've got Judy Prashka, Prashka, and uh, Glover Tashira. So things are exciting. This summer is just going to be incredible. And, you know, Dana White, get us more UFC events in London, more in England. You know what I mean? Like, we're UFC fans, right, in this country, right? Get us more fights, pal. Like, you know what I mean, right, Gazer? Come on, do it, mate. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you lot taking the time watching this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below. Obviously, comment and subscribe if your notification bell's turned on as well. Till next time. Peace.